how to fix prolactin on MK677. What's up everybody, it's that white boy from the yard, back at it again with another video. And today we are back with another enhanced question series with Dr. Tony Huge, where him and I will be answering followers be sending me in on my Instagram, which is white boy from the yard. Don't forget to subscribe and to follow me and Dr. Tony Huge. First, I'm not a doctor, I don't have any form of medical degrees whatsoever. I don't pretend to be a doctor, don't listen to what I say, this is on my personal opinion, how I see things I want to do to my body. Always go to a doctor before using any form of supplementation. Okay, so the topic slash question for today is prolactin and especially prolactin on MK677. Now, prolactin are some sort of gyno-related symptoms with breast enlargement, uh, breast tissues in men. It could even come some goo out of the nipple. All right, but how to fix prolactin on MK677? I know a little bit about cable going myself, but just tell us. Hey, white boy from the yard. Yeah, to fix prolactin issues on MK677. Well, prolactin is a natural hormone in the male and female body. We consider it a female hormone though, and it causes development of breast tissue, lactation, uh, decrease in sexual performance. So we do wanna keep prolactin levels in normal range, maybe a little bit lower than normal range if we're looking to enhance sexual performance. Uh, now, vitamin B6 is known to, to a small extent, to block the receptors in the nipples from the gyno issue of prolactin, right? But there's also the sexual issues with prolactin. And usually we use cabergoline, which is also known as Dostinex for that, or uh, pram, prammy, prammy, no, no, uh, Pramipexil, pram, forgetting the name of the other one, but it doesn't matter because I don't recommend it. That's why I've never used it myself. I have friends that have absolute horror stories with it, whereas I've never had any friends that had a problem with cabergoline. I've not heard of any negative side effects of cabergoline usage versus the premi, the other one, premi pexel or whatever it is. God dang it. Uh, so for the cabergoline dosage, uh, they usually come in 0.5 milligram. That's 500 micrograms. Very small dosage tablets. They're usually quite expensive. The raw powder of cabergoline costs something like a million dollars a pound. But that's okay because we're taking such a small dosage and it lasts about five days in the body. So you technically only have to take cabergoline once every five days. My pre preference would be to take it twice a week at 0.25 milligrams. So we're only using five milligrams, which is one tablet once per week. Now this is only if we notice prolactin issues. You're saying, what do we do if there's prolactin issues on MK677? Well, most people don't have that issue. So we don't need to take cabergoline in anticipation of having a prolactin issue on MK677 because there may never be a prolactin issue on MK677. Further, I use Caber I, mean, I use cabergoline sometimes, and I use MK677 also sometimes. And uh, at times when I've used MK677 personally, without cabergoline, I didn't notice any increase in my prolactin levels. But everybody's different, right? I actually, my body prolactin is very, very, very low, uh, and some people's is very high. Just as an example, my prolactin is almost zero, whereas Craig Goliath's is outside of the normal range, high his is his is like you know like 30 percent higher than the average man's at, at, at least and that may have something to do with muscle there may be some benefit to prolactin we don't even know about so to go try to lower a hormone that's naturally occurring in the body when we don't even know all the benefits that hormone confers not a good idea right so let's only mitigate the prolactin issues in k677 if it actually becomes an issue when would it become an issue? If you notice a major decrease in sexual performance or gyno, male sensitivity in, in the nipples or, or lactation, that's when we would consider using something to limit prolactin. All right, thanks a lot, Tony, for answering these questions again. So cabergolin would definitely help for prolactin issues on steroids, but especially on MK677. That was it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them on my Instagram, which is whiteboyfromtheyard. Don't forget to subscribe and to follow, obviously. Drop something in the comment section for the algorithm. Uh, if you have any topics or requests you want me to answer or Tony, just feel free to message me on Instagram or whatever. Like I said, that was it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'm out.